So uh, thanks everyone for coming. Um, our first meetup, super excited. Um, uh, so today I'm going to uh, take everyone through the journey of Browser Stack. Um, just kind of share, uh, it's been eight years, um, um, what our journey has been, how we have evolved as a company, um, and where are we right now. Um, again, feel, make, make, let's make it an informal conversation. Feel free to interrupt, ask any questions. I'm happy to answer that. Um, again, um, I just want to make another, I want to, I forgot something. So um, I'm the co-founder CEO, uh, Nakul, Nakul, Nakul. He's, he's my partner in crime, co-founder CTO. Um, I just want to make sure we don't miss him out. Um, browser tech technology, all thanks to him. Um, I, I'll share the story, like why I'm thanking him. Uh, it's because of him, we are, what we created, what we are. Um, so, kind of like, yeah, awesome. So, I'll start with the story. It was back 2011. Um, uh, we were doing consulting, um, making good amount of money, um, but we were looking for our next product idea, and we just couldn't find one. Um, it was six months getting bored, um, and we were engineers. Like, you can't make engineers not write code. Um, so. Uh, we decided, hey, let's just scale our consulting business. Um, the first thing you do is make a website. Like, and Nakul took about two days to put together an entire WordPress theme. Actually, we copied a WordPress theme. Um, um, he actually reverse engineered an entire website, gave me all the JavaScript CSS file, put together a new one. Hey, this is your new website. Um, we put all the content together. Um, the, the problem started when he said, now it's your job, go market it and test it. Um, and I'm not going to, and great, all our existing customers were coming from Microsoft back, you know, tools. They all were using Internet Explorer. I'm not sure how many of you know, back in 2011, I was the devil, right? Um, it had over 60% of market share uh, in the browsers. Um, and we were working out of a coffee shop, 3G. There wasn't even 4G. So, uh, and we were on a MacBook. Uh, so we have to download Internet Explorer to test on it. Um, it would have taken us four days to download virtual machines, set it up, test it, debug, fix. Uh, two days to make a website, four days to debug, just doesn't make sense, right? And I told him, I'm not gonna do this. It's a waste of my time, uh, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, and then we actually looked back. Uh, in all the previous startups we did, testing on different browsers was always a problem. Um, so this time we decided, let's, let's do some quick market research. Um, who are facing problems? Are, are there different users facing similar problems? Um, surprisingly, on Twitter, every day there were more than 100 users who were bad mouthing Microsoft because of Internet Explorer. More than 100 people were completely surprised. Uh, so we, we decided, like, we'll take four months, launch the first version of Browser Stack. And the first version just had one browser, IE. So we technically became resellers of IE browser. Um, uh, launched it as a free version. Um, we reached out to the same people on Twitter, uh, because now we had a pool of thousands of users, um, and gave free better access to all of them. Um, uh, and then we reached out to John Resick, uh, who started jQuery. Um, we knew him from our past, uh, uh, one of the open source gigs. Um, he replied back uh, saying that the biggest problem of jQuery is testing on different browsers. And you guys are the first one who has, seems like have attempted to solve this problem in the right way. He tweeted about it, went, to, um, it went on internet, went viral. Uh, within two weeks, we had over 10,000 beta users. Um, many of them, um, started asking for a paid version of the product. Um, now if I look back, maybe because the product was so bad, they thought that if you, if you pay for it, you'll probably give us a better version. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, again, we probably took about two weeks, put together a pricing and packaging, um, launched it. Day one, we made $1,000. Um, since then, we have been like growing mostly, mostly word of mouth. Um, uh, it's been eight years journey. Um, we have had over two and a half million um, developers worldwide have tried our product. Um, we have over 45,000 paying customers globally. 
from 135 countries. Um, this is the first year we are going to build, we are building our marketing function. So all these years, um, we never did any marketing whatsoever. Uh, sales, we probably started dabbling around about three years back. Um, and hopefully this year, we'll probably figure it out how to sell to developers. It's very difficult to sell to developers. Um, so, um, and uh, I remember like we reached our first thousand paying customers in about six months. And we both of us were still working out of a coffee shop. We reached a million in revenue, 12 months, still both of us working out of a coffee shop. And we were actually thinking that we don't need an office. Can we keep recruiting people and make them work out of a coffee shop? <laughs> we actually started interviewing and then we realized, oh shit, like no one wants to join us because we were working out of a coffee shop. Um, so that's when we got an office. It, we, we did not have WeWork then. There was something like Regis. Uh, so we started at Regis and we scaled from there. Um, um, from the product side, um, uh, we started with the iBrowser. browser. Um, then we moved into cross browser, uh, like different browsers, different versions, different operating system. Um, then we evolved um, into automate testing. Um, it was just all the customers. Um, we look back, uh, which is the top support query um, we have received in last uh, 12 months. And at that time, we had about 15,000 paying customers. Um, Automation was the number one request our customers were doing. Uh, so we said, great, like, let's make customers happy. Let's think about launching an automated product. We already had the infrastructure. Uh, we just have to make sure Selenium works, build the APIs. Uh, um, so we launched our first automated product. Um, that was our second product. Um, then, and, and a year later, we again looked into our support ticket, which is the number one request people are asking. That was mobile. Right. So we decided, great, let's, let's build a mobile infrastructure. Um, that took us a lot of time. Um, um, it took us almost three years uh, to build a great mobile infrastructure. That is something we would have loved to use ourselves. Uh, because we believed in making a pure cloud infrastructure, um, which you can access instantly. You don't have to wait. Uh, because if I make a developer or a QA person wait for a device or a browser, I'm technically wasting my time. Um, and then at the same time, we want to make sure it's high performance, high reliability. If you don't give that, you can't trust. You can't do your testing very well. We literally have to work for three years to launch our first um, mobile uh, infrastructure. Um, we launched it in our manual testing live product. Um, then it was added to automate product. Um, and then we added app testing, both live, app live and app automate. Um, as of now, um, almost 60% of our tests run on mobile devices. Uh, we have two mobile uh, data centers. Um, uh, we have one in Europe, um, one on the West Coast. Um, we're adding two new this year. Um, we are adding one on the East Coast. Um, and one we're going to add it in uh, uh, Asia. So we're going to have four mobile data centers. We have over 6,000 mobile devices that we host. Um, we're expecting this year to touch almost close to 10,000 devices uh, globally that we are going to do. Yes, did I miss anything? Okay. So we are close to about 250 employees now. Um, for the first four years, we were 50 employees, and we were like, shit, we reached 50, we don't want to reach 50, we want to keep it as small as possible. And at that time, we were like 40 engineers reporting to Nakul. Um, we have eight customer support people, one accountant in finance, and one myself. No sales, no marketing, no business person in the company, no product managers, no one. That was our first four-year journey. Um, now it's different, we have functions, we have managers, people reporting to each other. Um, 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 we are around 250 employees now. Uh, we are three offices. Um, our Mumbai is our headquarters. We are based out of Mumbai. Um, uh, San Francisco is where uh, Zach is helping us grow our San Francisco office in both sales and marketing. Uh, and Dublin is our small engineering office. Um, 
and we are ramping up our sales in Dublin as well. Any questions, anything? Yeah, so uh, we, we basically are um, a testing platform. We, we provide our customers infrastructure to run their test and probably get the result back. Right. So now what we want to be going forward is not known for cross-browser testing. We don't want to be known for just mobile application testing. We want to build the testing infrastructure for the internet. And what we believe in is there are going to be different consumer devices that are going to come. There were browsers, then came mobile. There are going to be different forms of IoT that's going to come. There's going to be VR. There are going to be many ways that we are going to access the internet and probably spend our digital time. We want to help developers to actually make applications and run their test suites, test on our infrastructure so that they can release their softwares faster. And make sure they are working well across all these different combinations. Fragmentation is going to be the next nightmare of software development. And the other thing we are looking into the future is there would be even a problem of testing frameworks for IoT devices. Desktop was easier because it was the development platform as well. Mobile was difficult because it's not the developer platform. So we don't have so many applications for mobile devices. It just takes more time to develop applications. It's going to be even more difficult for the future devices that we're going to see. Four products, I'm sure all of you know about it. Um, Automate for uh, browser automate testing for Selenium uh, in JavaScript. Uh, App Automate for APM, XUI, Expresso. Um, Live, which is our manual uh, browser testing for quick checks. Um, and then App Live for mobile app testing manually. So these are some of our customers. I'm sorry if we have missed you. Uh, some of the open source projects we help. How many of you are here from open source? Matt. Yes, why this meetup? Um, again, first meetup. Um, Super excited about it. Um, we we, we want to connect with all of you here. Like, uh, a lot of you have been using BrowserStack for many years. Um, this is opportunity for us at BrowserStack to meet all of you in person, kind of get the feedback, get the experiences. How can we make BrowserStack better? How can we help better? Uh, secondly, we want to create a community around testing. Um, uh, we want to give an opportunity uh, for our great speakers. Right, to come and speak here, help the community, um, and as well as browse tag users to meet each other. Um, so that's, that's the goal. Um, and hopefully, if we, this goes well, uh, we're going to do more often, more communities. Um, our Bay Area is our biggest user base. Um, we have close to about 7,000 users just in Bay Area itself. Um, then I think, I think London is the second, close to 4,000 customers in London itself. Um, um, so yeah, so we'll probably do more meetups uh, going forward. Um, so that's it. Um, so today, thanks uh, Lynette, Priyanka, and Brian for speaking. Um, and thanks Praveen, Naren, uh, Vanessa, and everyone else at BrowserStack to help organize this event. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>